Banning by Dell EMC offers enterprise-grade data protection for your Salesforce data, including standard objects, custom objects, chatter messages, attachments, files, and metadata, and is lightning ready. Spanning's core philosophy is restore perfection, and as a result, Spanning offers admins multiple ways to restore data, including restoring data from one org to another. One such use case for restoring across orgs is to populate one or more sandboxes. Often, admins and developers struggle to populate sandboxes with a known set of test data, and they would like to have a quick way to load specific records of multiple object types. With Spanning, they do not need to manually load data using the data loader, run multiple restores, or wait for a restore of a particular object type to complete before initiating another restore. Spanning can restore selective records of multiple object types, including their child and grandchild objects, in a single restore operation. Spanning does not need to be installed on your target org to restore data. Once you identify the records that you would like to populate in your sandbox, create a CSV file containing the Salesforce IDs of those records with a column heading called ID. Spanning only requires the IDs in order to find those records in the backups and restore them into your desired sandbox. You can add the Salesforce IDs of any object type that you would like to restore. If there are specific child and grandchild records that you would like to restore, you can add their Salesforce IDs in the CSV after the IDs of the parent objects. Spanning will restore the records in the order provided by the CSV. You can check the dependencies and relationships between different object types by navigating to Setup, Build, Schema Builder after logging into your Salesforce instance. Before you start the restore process, please ensure that your sandbox has the same customizations and metadata as the source org. Once you have the CSV ready and configurations and metadata properly set up, you can start the restore process by first clicking on Restore on the Spanning dashboard. Select different org and then authenticate the sandbox environment that you want to restore into. Please note that Spanning does not need to be installed in the sandbox. When ready, click Accept if you have gone through the steps listed, and then click Next. Upload the CSV that you created for the selected records and choose the desired backup date to restore from. Click Verify when ready. Spanning will automatically select the records listed in the CSV and display them along with their Salesforce ID and name. You can also preview the records by clicking the Preview button to view the field's values if desired. When ready, click Next and then select whether you would like to restore child and grandchild records of the records listed in the CSV file. If you select to restore child and grandchild relationships, Spanning will automatically find the related records for each item in the CSV and include them in the restore. If you choose not to restore child and grandchild records, Spanning will only restore what's listed in the CSV. Confirm the selections and when ready, click the Restore button to start restoring data into your desired Salesforce org. Once the restore is completed, you can view the results in the activity history, including the granular details of the restore operation and a downloadable CSV of the results, which will include the new Salesforce ID of the records created in the target org. If you need to populate sandboxes frequently using the same set of records for your developer or QA environment each time you refresh a sandbox, you can reuse the CSV you created to populate different sandboxes and run the restore through spanning. The best way to see how easy it is to do a cross-org restore to populate sandboxes with Spanning is to try it. Install a Spanning backup for Salesforce from the App Exchange or Spanning.com into a sandbox. Try it free for 14 days and start doing what Salesforce recommends. Use a third-party backup to protect your org.